And we'll be stepping back in time with the queen of girl power, Jerry Hallowell Horner. Uh, but just why is she turning to history to help inspire a new generation? Find all out about it later on. Plus, he swapped the classroom for the comedy circuit, but tonight... Go ah, incredible. Uh, now, in our next film tonight, we're travelling back in time to the Tudor period with the Queen of Girl Power. Yes, inspired by women in history, she's now on a mission to empower and educate a whole new generation. I'm Jerry Halliwell Horner, and we all know the phrase girl power. But what you might not know about me is that I'm a complete history buff. I think we can learn from the past. I can't find it fascinating, some of the events, the good and the bad. Here we are at Hampton Court, which is full of history. It's full of drama. It's full of treachery. It is absolutely drenched in history. I've done a lot of research here for my new book and created the character Rosie Frost. Like me, she's inspired by women in history. I love books. When I was a child, I could get transported to anywhere in the world if I had a book. And it was a safe place and it was encouraging and inspiring. It's the same now. I find books and now writing them extremely therapeutic. There was times in my life where I felt I didn't belong or I didn't fit in. And if I felt like that, I knew the idea of not fitting in was something I wanted to explore. I wrote this story for anyone who's felt bullied, no matter what age they are. We all might feel marginalised or disempowered at different stages in our life. I love reading about the powerful women who have helped shape history. And Hampton Court is perfect for that because it's where Anne Boleyn lived, one of history's most famous women. I want to find out how her history may have been skewed over the years. Anne Boleyn is famously the second wife of King Henry VIII, often referred to as a seductress who was eventually executed for treason. But is this the full story? I wonder who wrote this history about her, and is it true? And, and so then I said to myself, wouldn't it be amazing if we looked at Anne Boleyn with fresh eyes, and maybe she deserves a rebrand, maybe she deserves redemption. And that journey of curiosity has taken me on a voyage that lasted over nine years as I put pen to paper. Actually, wouldn't it be nice if we could celebrate who she was? Because actually, she was just smart. The more I visited places like this, where Anne Boleyn actually lived, the more inspirational and real she became in the story of Rosie Frost. Rosie Frost, she can get encouraged and inspired by the values of a queen 500 years ago. Now that's girl power. The other person I'm inspired by is Anne Boleyn's daughter, Queen Elizabeth I. So I've come to one of my favorite places, the National Portrait Gallery, to find out more about her from historian Charlotte Boland. I was particularly inspired by Queen Elizabeth I. Imagine if your mother has been executed by your own father. That's going to leave you traumatised. And it's so interesting, that kind of insight, a kind of complete tragedy of her mother's execution and her father's model of six wives. That She sort of asserts that she would be content to live and die a virgin. You can't blame her for not wanting to get married. The way she lived her life was so extraordinary. To choose not to marry is such a huge decision and it to defy that convention of the, the whole purpose of a queen is to have children to continue the um, dynasty. You know, we all know Queen Elizabeth I. She's been in the landscape, the backdrop of our mind, the legacy of power, girl power, we know that. My character Rosie feels a connection with Queen Elizabeth I as they both lost their mothers at a young age. This really brought home to me the idea of finding your inner strength when times are tough. If I've learned anything in life, is have courage, never give up. I mean, who knew Jerry Hannawell Horner is such a history buff? No. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, thanks so much to Jerry for that. And you can get a copy of her new children's book, Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen, from today. Right, let's uh, say hello to our next guest. He's the co creator and